Canada will always stand up for the right of peaceful, peaceful protest anywhere around the world. Our motto as a country is peace, order and good government. We saw anti-vaccine and anti-government protests devolve into illegal occupations of our communities and blockades of our borders. The leaders of those convoys were effective in turning citizens with real anxieties against the system best suited to allay those concerns. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing. But these blockades are illegal. And if you're still participating, the time to go home is now. We cannot and will not allow illegal and dangerous activities to continue. In addition, financial institutions will be authorized or directed to render essential services to help address the situation, including by regulating and prohibiting the use of property to fund or support illegal blockades. And what the Prime Minister of Canada, the way he's behaving right now, he's exactly like a tyrant, like a dictator. It would have been more appropriate for Mr. Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, to address this House according to Article 144, an article which was specifically designed to debate violations of human rights, democracy and the rule of law, which is clearly the case with Mr. Trudeau. Then again, a Prime Minister who openly admires the Chinese basic dictatorship. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. Who tramples on fundamental rights by persecuting and criminalizing his own citizens as terrorists just because they dared to stand up to his perverted concept of democracy should not be allowed to speak in this house at all. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace for any democracy. Please spare us your presence. Thank you. Postovane kolege, dragi građani, premijeru Trudeau. Sloboda, pravo izbora, pravo na život i zdravlje, pravo na rad za mnoge od nas, to su temeljna ljudska prava za koje su milioni građana Europe i svijeta položili svoje živote. Za obranu naših prava i prava naše djece, koje smo stjecali stoljećima, mnogi od nas, uključujući i mene, Spremni smo riskirati vlastitu slobodu i položiti vlastite živote. Nažalost, danas su među nama i oni koji gaze te temeljne vrijednosti. Kanada, nekada simbol modernog svijeta, je pod vodstvom vaše kvazi liberalne čizme proteklih mjeseci postala simbol kršenja temeljnih ljudskih prava i građanskih sloboda. Gledali smo kako konjima gaze žene, kako samohranim roditeljima blokirate bankovne račune, da ne mogu platiti djeci školovanje, da ne mogu platiti lijekove, da ne mogu platiti račune za struju i vodu, da ne mogu platiti rate kredita za svoje domove. Za vas su to možda liberalne metode. Međutim, za mnoge građane svijeta to je diktatura najgore vrste. 